okay what is happening what is going on welcome to the channel so hopefully this video is going to get a lot of new people watching the channel but yeah if you're new here i'm glenn welcome to the channel hopefully this video helps you because when i started blender i needed a video like this you know no disrespect to blender guru with his donut but the thing is not everybody wants to learn all the, the things in blender you know not everybody wants to learn how to model things you know you just might you maybe want to create cinematic scenes so that's probably the reason why i started learning 3ds because i'm a photographer first and foremost and i wanted to basically it was during COVID, and i couldn't go out and take photos so i thought well i'll just create the photos myself in blender so that's basically how i learned blender and i watch youtube videos but what I thought was I'd create a video basically getting started with Blender from my point of view. So hopefully you learned something. Hopefully this helps you. Because when I started Blender and I opened Blender for the first time, I didn't even know how to move. You know, I didn't even know how to move around. I didn't even know how to do this. So I actually, to be honest, a little bit of a, a little bit embarrassing, but I actually just stopped for like two months and had it on my computer and I didn't even open it again until I was like, no, well, I'm going to figure it out. And I did. But I thought, like I said in this video, I'm going to just do, this will be like a series. I don't know how many parts it's going to be. I don't want to make each video too long. But yeah, I just, this is for, for beginners. And I'm just going to teach you so that you can get started, start creating your own things, become more comfortable in Blender. So hopefully you enjoy this video and let's get into it. So I'm mine is you can see this here yours won't have this but my screen is a little bit different so i just recreated what will basically happen in blender for the first time so enough rambling let's get into it so if you want to move if you do this with your mouse okay first thing i would suggest if you are using a laptop i suggest plugging in a mouse it's just easier to work like that instead of working off your uh, mouse pad on your your laptop so just plug in a mouse and it'll it, it'll be easier so once your mouse is plugged in and you do this you can see you can't really move around so what you're going to need to do is your that button that scroll wheel on the middle of your mouse just push it down and then move your mouse and hold it in and you can see that allows you to move then you can just find a spot like that and then this is basically how it will be so what i'm going to do is just delete all this so use your mouse just click there drag this hold your left button in drag over and then push delete and it deletes everything so that's basically how you delete things okay so let me show you how to add something so let's just move around and you can see yeah let me add something and i'll just teach you a bit about the the views so what you're going to do is go shift Hold down shift, push shift A, and this will come up. And now go to mesh and go to cube and click on it, and it adds a cube. Now, next thing, if you want to zoom in, so let's say I want to get close to the cube, just your, again, your scroll wheel on your mouse, just push it forward. So just like scroll it in forward, roll it forward, and that will zoom in. Okay. Now, if I go here yeah, to Z, this will be your top view. So you zoom out. So basically zooming in. And then when you want to zoom out, just go backwards. And this is your top view. So if I hold down the middle scroll wheel again and bring this down, you can see that is our top view. Okay. And then this is our side view. That is the, the views. So if you want to toggle between them, you can go one, seven, nine, three. Okay. That's just a quick way. But Next thing, if you want to delete an object, I've already showed you. So if you click there, it unselects object. So you can see, yeah, this is your cube. So if I click it, it will select object. Or if you click away, you can just click on object and it selects the object. Okay. Now, if you want to move your object, so let's say I want to move it. You just push G and then you can move it like that. So that just free moves it. Or if you want to undo something, I'm going to undo it. You just go to edit, undo or control Z. Or if you want, you can go to Z 
and then hit G and then hold down your middle your, your scroll wheel button again keep it held in and then just it will obviously move it along the X axis so you can move it like that then if you want to move it like that you can see it doesn't move so I'm but then if you go there it goes so it's basically moving it in a straight line if that makes sense okay so let's put it back so hopefully that helps if you want to lift it up hit G bring it up like that you can see that now free moves the object and then hit Control Z if you want to undo it now if I want to make this object bigger so select it push S and you can see once you push S don't hold it in just hit it once and this thing comes up you can see now if I move my mouse like that it makes it bigger if I move it this way it makes it smaller okay or what you can do is you can go click on the object go S5 and it push enter and it scales it up by 5 okay you can also do it like that it's completely up to you next thing if I want to move it you can also move it like that so you can go yeah so if you'll be on this if you click there move select object and you push you touch this and you pull it this moves it on the x-axis if you hit blue moves it on the z-axis and then the green on the y so you can see that's probably one of the nicer ways to move objects and then if you want to rotate it boom select the object and you can see I do this now you can rotate it like that you can rotate it like that and you can rotate it like that okay and then also what you could do is if you click here and you click on the object and you hit R once you can also rotate it like that and then if you hit so go out there select it again hit R twice so boom boom now it lets you like free move the object next thing if you want to get the object back basically in line and center again just go here so object and you can see all you do is make this zero boom zero boom zero boom and then the rotation same thing zero zero and zero and now it's all back so this also allows you to move it like that move it like that it, it basically allows you to move it a bit more accurately next thing if you want to scale the object click there click on the object now what will happen is if I select this with the mouse and drag it like that it makes it like that and then if I select the red one it makes it like that and then obviously the blue will make it higher so you can do that and that basically turns it into a rectangle box kind of thing yeah, you know so those are basically the ones that i use so hopefully you're starting to understand a little bit better like i said this is just going to be the basics on on that you don't have to worry about these kind of things but now now let's say i want to add a camera so if i click here this is your camera but i don't have a camera in so obviously if you want you can go to add a camera because obviously you're going to need a camera to render something we'll get into that in another video but yeah step by step next thing you'd obviously want to do is add a camera so shift a mesh and now what we're going to do is look for camera click on it and you can see the camera comes up here but we can't find it so move it to a spot that you want so something like let's say i want something like that now press control alt zero and you can see this comes up now this is your camera so when i do this you'll see the camera's over there okay now if you want let's say now i want to go back to the camera view all you do is you click yeah toggle to the camera view boom and this is your camera okay so this is what will be rendered in the scene basically if that makes sense this stuff whatever is here and here and here won't be rendered this will be in your final image but what you can do is you can change the scale of the camera so you click there on output and the resolution if you want to make it like a 1920 by 
you can see it gets you that kind of camera so now this will be rendered then you can go here to camera and i don't worry about this for now but your focal links basically if you're a photographer you'll understand this but if you're not i'll let me explain it so the the closer to zero so if i go back to like that the wider the focal length the more it will be basically in the scene if that makes sense and obviously the more you in is the more to be zoomed in okay that's basically how it works shift x and y is just move it like that and then up and down okay so it gives you a bit more control of your camera the rest of the stuff not going to really get into in this video but that just helps you understand the camera and yeah i think what i'm going to do is is i'm going to leave it at that for this video so hopefully like i said this is for people who have never opened blender before and just getting you a bit more familiar so this is part one of basically that and yeah if you want to watch part two i will upload it pretty soon make sure you subscribe for to make sure that you know when it gets uploaded but uh yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe and soon we will be creating some amazing blender scenes and yeah hopefully you enjoy the video stick around and i'm gonna make you a blender guru or <laughs> yeah lame joke but anyways yeah see you in the next video peace